Right now, we're going to talk about one of the most heinous diseases on the face of the planet, I reckon, endometriosis. It is World Endometriosis Day, and we've got the most beautiful standout newsreader in the country. <laughs> oh, Olivia, how are you, darling? Hello, I'm, I'm all right. And you, you're in a little bit different circumstances to what you, la- uh, what you were in last year. Um, yeah. What's this fantastic news? I'm pregnant. Oh. Yeah. She's having a baby. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's awesome news. Yeah. Thank and you. and uh, on the endometriosis front, that yeah. can help sometimes yeah. with endometriosis, but not all times. No, I mean, there are instances that um, they've been found where pregnancy and having a baby can help the disease mm. for women. However, not everyone is gets that chance, and um, I'm still... Struggling every day with it. Really, Struggling even while pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. Oh, a, oh, I didn't know it would affect you. Painful. Oh. Yeah. So, um, mm. Even more so because you know there's a baby in there yeah, and, and right. the uterus is grown and everything's been pushed away and up and everything has to move and expand. And my previous scar tissue from the surgeries yeah. and, and the endo just don't doesn't want to stretch. No. Mm. No, and that is the thing. Obviously, you know, being pregnant and feeling different things, you'd be going, oh, my God, is it the baby? Is it the endo? Do they give you some treatment or just watch you, monitor you? I am being watched closely, Yeah, given my history. And I do have an increased risk of preeclampsia as Mm. well. So I am being monitored closely and I have scans regularly and blood tests and things like that. So it's just, yeah, being monitored more so. Olivia, have you seen any advancements in the treatment of endometriosis? over the last few years. I've spoke about this before, that both my partners of the past had endometriosis and Mm. we always felt a bit like of a guinea pig, always trying different things, but is there actual advances being made? Look, they're trying, um, but, you know, honestly, it's no. It's tough. And oh. I've, I've tried all the medicines under the sun to try and control this condition. But, you know, I last May I underwent my fourth surgery Man. for it. So <laughs> surgery is, you know, is the last resort. Yeah. But it does, you know, Help. they cut out the lesions, which is what helps the pain. Mm. Mm. And this thing where pregnancy can sometimes help, how do you know? Is it after you have the baby that it's helped? Or? Well, I've, I've spoken to women who have been pregnant um, previously and they've said I had no pain during pregnancy. It was amazing. It was uh-huh. the best nine months of my life. I have not been that lucky. And then there's women that say, you know, after I had the baby, it went. It took so, it all with it. Yeah. Oh, let's hope for you that's um, the case. Yeah, and look, like I've said before, and I love to reinforce this message every year to all the men out there, if you're partners are suffering from endometriosis. When I was young, I had no idea what endometriosis was, and to me it was, oh, what are you, you know, what's going on? What the now? headache again? What now? I feel ashamed of the way I acted to, in those relationships because mm. I had no knowledge. Mm. Now that I know exactly how debilitating and horrible it is, I wish I just could go back and put an <laughs> arm around it, to be truthful, but <laughs> blokes, take it easy. It's a tough one, and man, oh man, mm. Your girl needs some help. You know, knowledge is key and, and that's what we say, you know, during Endometriosis Awareness Month, it's about shining a light on the condition yep. that affects one in nine mm, women exactly. and girls. So, If yeah. anyone wants to, to donate out there, how mm. can they donate? Yep, so you can go straight to the endometriosisaustralia.org.au website yep. and there's always a little donate link. Mm. And that, listen, the bigger your donations, the more scientists, the more research, the more everything can go into it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hope they find it. <laughs> and the really good goal. thing about about yeah. the website to live um, having a look at it is yep. even if you are suffering from endometriosis there's lots of different things on there and lots of information um, that you can read up on about if you are yep. thinking maybe I oh yeah I have had those symptoms or oh my god like I haven't been feeling that great it's good to to see that something like this is available for everyone and the message is to you know if you're not feeling right listen to your body because your body is telling you something yeah, exactly mm. right. go to your GP you know, if you can't find the answers there, you know, just continue fighting and you need to get a referral to a gynaecologist. Yep. But um, do that and, um, you know, you can lead, lead a fairly good life. Mm. Yeah. yeah. When are you due? You're having a baby. July. Do you know what you're having? Oh, oh the 24th? 20th. <gasps> Do you know what you're having yet, Liv? A girl. Whee! A girl. Oh, lovely. Oh, all the names are gone. I was going to say Michael's. Not a bad name. Oh. I'm, well, I was going to say have it on the 24th and call it Sarah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, good luck, Liv.